We are here, season 10, week 1, game day. The link has been posted. Let me just wait for you guys to get on in here. Oh boy, it is time. Let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. Yes, sir, it's game day. Let me know if you can hear me. I mean, he got smoked, so perfect. All right, so game day here. Shout out to McNasty for uh, making the overlays, and he made uh, our very own um, college game day uh, logo that you guys saw in the top left. Um, yes, sir, a new era of football starts today in Kansas, and we are in Knoxville at Neyland. This is going to be one hell of a ride. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and don't know what the SFA is, we are a online dynasty ran entirely through Discord. So no, you do not need the game. Um, the goal is to bring 130 users together uh, to have like a fully functioning um, online dynasty. So we have about 50 active users right now. If you want to join, links are in the descriptions to the Discord and then you can pick a team. Um, if you guys miss this stream or something, uh, the full VOD will be posted to YouTube, and then I always chop up the game day into highlights. So, um, yeah, so, and to start out, I always go through the rosters, so that you guys know, obviously, I don't edit ratings, um, or cheat or anything, so... We're gonna start out here with the Kansas Jayhawks. They went 1-11 last year, so how the hell do they make game day? Well, Coach Fink, one of the original founders like myself, went from Western Michigan, decided to take over the head coaching job, and he had an offseason to remember. He brought in SFA player Kyle White, the journeyman sophomore redshirt who's been on four teams and is yet to ever throw a pass in his career. Uh, he was recruited to Notre Dame. Um was redshirted, and then he transferred to Western Michigan with Fink, and then he got yoinked by Coastal Carolina, was their backup for a year, and now he decided in-game to transfer to Kansas, and he was named the starter. So, very excited to see how Kyle White turns out. Um, he's progressed nicely to an 84 overall. At running back, uh, the starter will be Daniel Heshaw Jr., now, important to note, though, Eddie Dove, he just transferred from Tennessee, his opponent, to Kansas. I don't think we'll really see him unless there's injuries, but it's definitely an important um, storyline to keep track of if we do end up seeing Eddie Dove in, the, in a revenge game. At fullback, who cares? And these are your wide receivers. Um, J.J. Justice, the freshman athlete who plays corner and uh, wide receiver, he's actually wide receiver number four, and then he is cornerback number two. So we'll see him in a little bit. But you got Bowling, Mc, McBride, and Arnold that we'll probably see. Tight end, you got Huggins, their best player, 90 overall. Uh then offensive line, a uh, little rough here in the center for sure, but a big nasty man, Bryce Cabaldu on the right side. And then on the line here, um, nothing to write home about, honestly, but you got to remember this is a one, one win team last year, but in the middle of the defense, if they want to pull off the upset, David McCormack, 6'10", 250, 88 overall, he's got to have the game of his life. Um... And then here at corner, Jacoby Bryant, he's the highest rated player on their team, or on their secondary, but he has been redshirted, so he will not play. It will be Justice and Dotson on the outside with Gaines in the slot, and Dabney. And then at safety, you got jo John Quay Lewis, who's a senior, and then the true freshman, Patrick Chung, uh, he is um, a beast. And then uh, let's check the power because that's something that does decide game days a lot. 78 power is actually pretty good, so he should be all right. And then punter is whatever. Now on to Tennessee, the number 24 team in the country, and they are led 
by none other than Cardale Jones, who is named the starter over Lou Ishire. Um, he has better speed. And uh, obviously, Nick, if you're looking at this, Lou Ishire is a higher overall normally than Cardale. But in order for Cardale to actually play, I have to lower Ishire's awareness to where he's below him so the game won't automatically play him. So, um, yeah, if uh, Cardale gets hurt, then I will raise his ratings back up. Um, at running back, one of the 499 overalls in the country, Jalen Wright. Uh, he is definitely hoping to have a massive game for sure. All right. And then wide receiver, Callaway. And then Cayman Marley, the man who caught the Hale Cardale last year, will be matched up on JJ Justice. Uh, these are your tight ends. And then uh, the true freshman, Michael o Orr, will be starting at left tackle. No, I can fix the depth charts, but the game will still fuck you over. If it, like, if I sim and I have a higher overall uh, QB behind my starter, then if he throws an interception or they don't like how he's playing, they'll instantly bench him. Um... Also, Tennessee doesn't have the strongest interior, but Jake Fisher, SFA player, 88 overall on the right side. And then you got Covington and Jadavion Clowney finally gets unleashed in his junior year. He's been stuck on depth charts for so long, and now he's going to be unleashed today. And then the middle obviously looks pretty good here. Um, and then on the outside, Michael Cole is an SFA player. Sam Powell is the... Uh, in-game recruit he got and then you got McFarland and McDonald in the outside and then let's take a look kick power 92 for Brandon Rodriguez so that should be good oh yes and then our sponsors are brought to you we got uh, Hennessy Yes Miss Days we got Dolly uh, and then we got SFA and Chill Podcast that's every Thursday um, so we'll be doing that from now on once again and then if you guys want to submit an ad uh, just DM it to me. Make sure you use big, bold letters so that you can see the Yes Miss Daisy is a bit small, but it still works. All right. Time for, uh, time for, um, uniforms. All right, Nick, you get first dibs. What do you want? I'm just going to scroll through. Uh, do you want, if you want the gray, if you want the black, let me know. Or if you just want orange. If he picks gray, then I probably will not allow color rush, but we will see. So Nick, let me know. What do you want? And while I'm waiting for you to make your choice, I am going to get my thumbnail. He wants, what do you want? You want orange and white. So you want to be boring as fuck. All right. So just basic orange and white. There you go. All right, Kansas, what do you want? Um, now, as a old-style logo connoisseur, I would um, appreciate, uh, think, if you use this helmet. Uh, think, post, please. Say yes to this helmet. Let me see the options for what. We're going all blue for you. You want to see the helmets? Yeah, just regular Jayhawk, the KU, the white, and then just regular Jayhawks. And then you have that kind of a weird one, and then the World War II. And then pants-wise, you could go gray, or you could go crimson pants if you want. Or just do blue. World War II, okay, and then pants, last thing before we get started. 
Do you want blue pants, gray pants, or red pants? Crimson pants. I knew he was going to go for that shit. Alright. So we got that, and we got that in 91 to 84. In the preseason polls, Tennessee's 24. Kansas comes in at number 30 preseason polls based on his offseason. So who is going to win? This is going to be one hell of a game, I'm hoping. And we are off. Game day is officially popping off. Oh, man, baby, we are back. These are the top players on each side. Here we go. We are at Neyland. Oh, man, the World War II helmets are so nice, so crisp. And actually, a ton of Kansas fans here, it seems. Look at all of that Kansas. Game should jump forward here and be fine, hopefully. All right, coin toss time. I have no uh, control over it since it's CPU versus CPU. Kansas will start us off here. Oh, boy, they're kicking it off. Tennessee's getting the ball first. We, got, we get to see Cardale. And we are off. Season 10 has begun. Who will win? Oh, boy. Cardale Jones, he is a massive man. But we'll watch out for a... Uh... Oh, McCormick gets stiffied on the first play of the game. Oh, boy. Jalen Wright, the 99 overall. Stiff arms, the 6'10 middle linebacker. Uh, important numbers to know. 48 on the defense is McCormack. Number 24 at the bottom of your screen is J.J. Justice. And over the middle, and J.J. Justice gets beat. On the first throw of the game by uh, Callaway. So they are already moving the ball. Unfortunately, it looks like we got the uh, bug where I don't get to see the stats or players or whatever. Which is all right. And a nice tip ball there. Unfortunately, the game will not tell us who it was, but it's all right. So a second and ten to start here. Cardale. Takes the handoff. Ace taking it off for the first time on the day. And McCormick, it breaks the tackle. Oh, man. So not a great look for McCormick so far. He gets embarrassed there by Cardale. And then the corner takes a bad angle. They're across the 50. They blitz, he gets the mid-screen off, and there's a big hit by McCormack. There you go, he's starting to settle in. That's uh, that's Caden Marley, the man who caught the hail card hail last year against Auburn. And huge shout-out to, uh, to, um, to uh, McNasty making our college game day logo and me being able to have it on the overlay as Jalen Wright gets a first down Kansas is showing no life on the defensive side here early Caden uh, Marley I don't know why he's just always worn number 42 in the safe Cardell he keeps it and he's brought down there he is JJ Justice making his first play of his career uh, I think in the base rosters he was just wearing 42 I'm not sure why but, yeah. Um, all right, they are inside the 30 now. He rolls out. Cardale dumps it off. Number 44, that's the fullback. I wish we could see the names. Boo. That's all right. Inside the red zone. Can Cardale score on the opening possession? 
something he's never really been able to do, score. Hardale, he gets held up the line, he escapes, he breaks some tackles, and he fumbles, Cardale! He fumbles it, and it is recovered by Patrick Chung. Oh, no! Cardale fumbles inside the five. He didn't even get tackled. What a play. The ball hawking defense and the fumble prone Cardale come through. What a play to start. And now this is the first time we've ever gotten to see Kyle White play. After a huge turnover. Hail Cardale. <laughs> All that running to put it on the turf. Yeah, a beautiful broken tackle, only to fuck it up. All right, his first career pass. Kyle White is deep, and he connects. What a throw by Kyle White. And that's Bowling, the top receiver, streaking down the sideline. He beat him before the safety got over there to help. Kyle White. Oh, baby. Kansas might be for real. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but this is exciting. Hey, hand it off. That's his shire. In real life, unfortunately, he dislocated his hip. But he's still cranking here. All right. JJ Justice, number 24 in the slot. He's running. There's J.J. Justice. He catches it. His first career catch in the crimson and blue. I guess is they call it crimson even though it's like a cherry red. And Kansas is across the 50. And they run option. It does not work. Typical. Looks like Jadavion Clowney there. Yep. He was in on the stop. He's a sleeping giant. All right, Kyle White. Can they get back behind? He rolls left. Oh, he's... And he puts it on the ground. It's still on the ground. And they recover it, but it's a loss of nine. Oh, baby. So, two fumbles now on the opening two plays. But luckily, Kansas is able to recover after it was squeaking around there for quite a while. Good lord. And fun fact, Tennessee is the only team to ever have a scoop and score on game day. When they uh, scoop and scored Brock Vandegrift and they're down by like 30. Kyle White all the time. He dumps it off though. Broken tackle. And he's pushing. Uh, he only gets back to pre-fumble spot. So Kansas will punt here. It's a, it's definitely a, this is definitely a week one game with all the errors already. And can he get a good bounce? No, he cannot. <laughs> Here, I'll just start singing good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top Tennessee. After uh, Tennessee beat Alabama, I had Rocky Top stuck in my head probably for a month. That song is insane. Oh, he's going deep to start this drive, and he overthrows him. So Cardale kind of playing fast and loose here. So we get an interference call on J.J. Justice. What is this? That was uncatchable. Woo! That's some bullshit. That get and Fink is pissed. He's pulling his hair out. That was the most uncatchable ball I've ever seen. All right, Cardale. He's taking off again, running up the middle, and he breaks two tackles. The coaches are like, you should slide next time. He's like, fuck you. Yeah, so our first screw job of the season. Surprise, it wasn't Ron getting screwed. But Cardale, he's back to moving the ball here. And Jalen Wright, I guess, thought that was a handoff as he, like, hit his arms before he threw it, so... A little miscommunication early on in the season. They got to get the kinks out. Hand it off. No, Cardale keeps it. And he has all the room in the world. And Patrick Chung makes the tackle. Patrick Chung is definitely going to be a big player there at strong safety. Number 39.
Uh, from what I'm seeing now, right now, think if you can just stop the pa uh, the rushing, then you're going to win this game because Cardale is looking like a liability as he chews the run, and that's McCormick with the sack. The 6'10 middle linebacker. The SFA player. Cardale wanted to go backwards. He faked the backwards. McCormick is a beast. After he won the national championship in basketball, he took his talents to football. So already a big, big defensive game here. And they're returning this. All right, what does Coach Fink have drawn up for us this time? Is it more QB option with a 65 speed? All right, man in motion. They're faking the handoff. He's going to dump it off. That's the tight end, their best player. Forget his name. Huggins, that's his name. And this uh, this linebacker covered a lot of ground there and laid the, laid the wood. That was Mills. I think Fink wants more speed option. J.J. Justice in the slot. He throws it, and that's going to be a first down. A nice little pass and catch. <laughs> you, you know I call the plays here. All right, Kyle White. He hasn't really had too much pressure. He dumps off to Huggins again. This time's wide open. He gets nine. You know, despite the couple option plays, I am liking the kind of scheme they're going with, but I would like some more running. And now they're spreading them, spreading them out. JJ Justice in the middle here. And dumps it off. Short passes. They're working. Yes, I intentionally moved it up to 60 frames a second so that I could just show off my lightning quick one frame play calling oh and a big hit in the backfield this linebacker's popping off unfortunately we can't see his name but that's all right boom big hit and i'm hoping that you guys notice that the quality of the stream should be up um from last season i figured out a couple of little things i could do so Willis is his name. All right, Willis. And we got Arnold there. So always trying to improve things here. And he spreads it again, and he dumps it. Oh, no, that's a pick. Kyle White. And it's going the other way. And he's gone. Tennessee scores first. A pick six. The first touchdown throw of Kyle White's career is to the wrong color. Ooh, baby, what happened there, buddy? And the Fink experiment looks to be a failure already. And, dude, they're singing Rocky Top. Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. <laughs> Did you guys hear the game playing Rocky Top? I hope you heard that. <laughs> All right. How is Kyle White going to respond? His first turnover in his career. Oh, man, they get a nice little return there. What a play. The first score of Season 10 is a pick six. You love to see it. All right, Kyle White. They're going to immediately put back his hands. He throws a dot over the middle to Arnold. That looked like a duck, but it turned out to be a beautiful throw. Honestly, that last pass, he, um, Kyle White, he just got uncomfortable in the, into the pocket, and he thought he had a dump off, and he didn't. Um, that's alright Kansas come on I'm cheering for Kansas by the way 
I want more QB controversy with uh, Cardale, so I want him to play a bit poorly. They hand it off this time. Nothing doing. <laughs> I just got to... As you guys typically see is that my fandom in these games goes back and forth. I mainly just cheer for the SFA players to go crazy. Oh, for sure. That's what the SFA is founded on. Bias announcing. Alright, but Kansas is moving the ball. This is a good response. JJ Justice. There you go. He gets the ball. He stiffies a man. Gets seven. JJ Justice is a physical corner. He has great press, great man. And on um, and on the offensive side, he has great moves and break tackle and stuff. So watch out for that. Kyle White, as his first quarter is going to come to an end, they will come back with a third and two. In the SFA, stiff arms are called stiffies. No, it's what it's called. In this universe, we call it a good old stiffy. All right. Almost in scoring position here for Coach Fink. Can he get his first points in the Kansas era? Kyle White. They're running speed option, and he doesn't get it off. Oh, no. What a terrible play call. I love the Bill Walton. Uh, I love Bill Walton. I'm a Pac-12 guy, so absolutely give me more of that. And they're going for it. Our first fourth down of the season. Fourth and six. What are they going to draw up? JJ Justice up top in the slot. They hand it off. It's a, it's a halfback draw. And Tennessee takes over. So early on, it is clear that Fink has not really been able to handle the, the Power 5 atmosphere in this building. <laughs> what a play call. Absolutely. is Cardale, he takes back over. And he's, of course, he takes it. And McCormack brings him down. Cardale Jones, it's basically him soloing this game. Finally, a handoff to their 99 overall running back, and it goes for 10. Shocker. You guys say it's um, Lamar Jackson is, is Lamar B. This is Cardale RB, I guess. Or I guess it doesn't work. Speed option time. He gets the pitch off, but it doesn't go for that much. Think, take notes. That's how you run the speed option. You actually pitch it. Yes, he won two games last year, sir. Give the man some respect. Cardale hands it off. Jalen right up the middle. All right, they stop him short. Like I said, McCormack already has probably like six tackles. Better than minus five. Can they get this? Cardale is going to throw it. And... One-handed catch. It was behind him. The Cardale accuracy shows through, but Caden Marley snags it with his uh, spectacular catch. And they're hurrying it up here. Cardale. He takes off again, and he is once again tackled by McCormick. I feel like I've repeated that about 15 times. Can Cardale not turn the ball over in the red zone? Level impossible. As he once again takes off. So shout out to Kansas uh, pass defense as they're forcing uh, Cardale to keep the ball and just run. Another third and in inches. Cardale. And that's a first down. You got Smokey all riled up here. Oh, 
Fakes the handoff. He's running it again, of course. When are they going to put in a QB spy? Holy shit. He's already ran for 100 yards. This is what Cardale wants to do. Honestly, it, letting Cardale run is probably 10 times better than letting him throw. Hands it off. Wide open hole. Jalen Wright. Touchdown, Tennessee. They take a two-score lead here in the first half. And Kansas is already on their back heels. People are saying that uh, Kansas may have been a bit overrated entering this season. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that the game's graphics are not going to pop up for us. We, ha we have a visual glitch, unfortunately. Kansas, they need something big to get back into this. You definitely are going to have a tough time coming back when you give up defensive touchdowns. All right, what can Kyle White do? They need to settle down. They hand it off here. An outside run. He breaks two tackles, and he's off. Holy smokes, he just got shot out of a cannon. He shot Jr. Tosses these fools like they're nothing. Boom, boom. Fucking wrecking ball out here. It took Jadavion Clowney from behind to take him down. And they're up about around the 50. That's the explosiveness you need to get back in this. Kyle White dumps it off. That's their top, uh, or no, that's the fullback. A beautiful run to start the drive. Now you feel like Kansas might have a tiny bit of momentum here. They definitely need to start scoring some points. You can't go to half down multiple scores. But Kansas, they do get the ball back. And the quick op or the read option works. He caught him off guard there. The read option works. Speed option. He gets the pitch off. All right. So props to Fink to sticking with the poor play calling until it works. <laughs> All right. We're at the 35. They're threatening. And they put a drive together. They hand it off again. Man, look at those pancakes out there by the receiver. But it just does nothing. So a big third and eight coming up now. Can they convert JJ Justice in the slot? He throws it to the back, and this has just been a he shaw drive, baby. The Jayhawks are loving it as they convert third and eight. And they're threatening inside the 25. They hand it off again. They find a little bit of room. They're just outside the red zone. Hand it off again on the counter. A wide open hole for Heshaw. And he finds room inside the 10. Oh boy. Can Kansas get the first points of the Fink era? Kyle White throws the screen, and Jadavion Clowney makes the tackle. He's been everywhere today. Second and goal from, oh boy, the 13. That was a big loss there. They fake the handoff, and it's White, and he gets stuffed at the line. I thought he was gonna, he was gonna put, he was gonna put the moves out there. All right, are they gonna settle for a field goal? No, they're coming out empty, five wide. JJ Justice in the slot, no one's on him. It's gonna be on the middle linebacker, and 
He's throwing it to the edge and he just runs out of room. And the field goal unit is probably coming on. Yes, sir. Can Fink get his first points of the season here? The kick is up and it's good. We get a studio update here. Obviously, Florida just destroyed Mississippi State. Is Florida back? They haven't really been good since, like, season five. All right, so... Obviously, three points isn't really amazing, but you, you, you get the monkey off your back, you know? Down 11, it's still two scores, but that definitely makes you feel good. You, you got something, right? And we know Cardale Jones is good for at least a turnover, so it would be really nice if it came right now, though. Jalen Wright, and they stop him. All right. And for some reason, <laughs> the it looks like our uh, first down line is messing up. But Cardale, he keeps himself once again, and he tried to hurdle, I guess. That was a crazy animation. This game's just going crazy. Oh, boy, and there's a big tackle. McCormick, obviously the best player on this defense. He's showing out today. He had a tough first drive, but... Second and 15. Can Kansas get the ball back before half to do something? They bring the blitz. He's hit as he throws, and somehow that's caught by Nixon. I totally thought he jumped the route. I thought that was a pick six, but it went through the hands. He just couldn't get there in a big third and 10 now. That was the play, and Cardelli takes off again. No, he's sacked. Sacked from behind. And fourth and ten. Kansas. That is your best drive of the game for sure. A huge, huge change in momentum right there. Alright, what can Kansas do? They have 50 seconds, two timeouts. You need to at least get a field goal to make this a one possession game. Yeah, the defense popped off right there. I thought that was going to be a pick. Kyle White. He dumps it off. And that goes nowhere. Gain of three. Clock is running. Not all that, in not all that inspiring. No audio mods. This is just me talking in my Xbox headset. Oh, you mean in game? Uh, no, it's just whatever's in revamped. So if they uh, if they messed with the audio, then yeah. Oh boy. So they are just comfortable going to the break here. They are gonna run a play though, and he dumps it off again to Arnold. Typical, and then they call a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna run one more play here. I guess they're within Hail Mary range apparently. I don't think uh I don't think Kyle White's throwing sixty nine yard bombs. And he's sacked anyways. Oh boy. As we go to half, uh Tennessee is leading fourteen to three, and that leads us to our first ads of the season. First up, come learn more about the best conference in the South. Uh, we all know the SEC is a second-class conference, so come join the fun belt. Um, better teams, better players, better content. Check out fun belt forums. And then second off, yeah, it's Hall of Fame time. Uh, if you were a user last season, uh, you now get to vote for the Hall of Fame. Um, there's 15 on the ballot. You can select up to five candidates. Um, you can also only select one if you want. I will be DMing this to every user who was here last season and to get your votes. In order to get in to the uh, Hall of Fame this season, you have to get above 50%. Um, 
So yeah, I'll be DMing that to you guys later here. But man, we got some first balladers for sure on here. Um, we truly lost a great class. So super excited to see who does make it. Um, there's some obvious ones and some not so obvious ones. So, uh, so yeah, that's something to look forward to. And these will be inducted in during conference championship week. But we are back here at Neyland. Kansas will start out with the ball. While we wait, we're going to get a little Nick Gritty at halftime. This is him in the locker room. Not making adjustments. He's just trying. He's just having a good time. So, we're waiting here. Here we go. Halftime is over. If he wins, I'll play it again. All right, Kyle White, what can they do on this drive? His shire, he's breaking tackles. Or his shaw, I guess. They're still loving this pistol. It only got him three points. And he, his offense alignment was trying to stop him, but he powers through. It'll be interesting to see if uh, we get a little bit more offense in the second half. And Kyle White, you know, barring the one mistake, he's honestly not been all that bad through the air. I know he hasn't thrown a touchdown yet, but pretty pleased considering he's spent two years not playing, or three years. They hand it off. It's a counter. He has room. Can he break it? Oh, he gets past him. A little stutter step there. Third and one. That is a huge missed tackle. Kansas trying to put together a drive to get themselves back into it. Yeah, I like all the audio that they put in the game for the players talking. And big catch there. That was that was the man, the myth, the legend, J.J. Justice, the true freshman. Committed to Western Michigan and followed him to Kansas, the five-star. Kyle White dumps it off, and that's intercepted. Oh, no, another bad throw. He was trying to find J.J., and it just does not happen. Talk about a big oof right there. Another interception here, and it's kind of been all Tennessee. Home to me, good old Rocky Top. And Cardale, he doesn't go for much, so Kansas is kind of coming to play on defense right now. <laughs> and another big play. There you go, Kansas. All right, third and 16. You're going to get the ball back, it looks like. Probably not going to hurt you all that much. All right, they're going to run screen to Jalen Wright. Can they get the tackle? They do. A huge play there. Nice little tackle. So Kansas is going to get the ball right back. So no harm done with the interception other than emotionally to Fink in the chat. Can they get a big return to help out this offense? And you you got to think, like going in this game, if you're Kansas, you, if you say Tennessee only has 14 points in the third quarter, you, you, you would take it, right? But, yeah, if it showers in the game, you'd be down 35-3, absolutely. 
But also, on the other hand, Cardale, he's so consistent on the ground that he just gives you more of a chance to, I think, uh, more of a chance to score consistently. But you, he is going to make those bonehead moves and bonehead plays. They hand it off here, and the, the defense is kind of starting to key in on your run game. So Kyle White's going to have to start throwing it. You love to see it. A career transfer portal quarterback. His first career game throws two picks. Kyle White. Any big throw right there. Corner blitz in his face. He stands in there, takes the hit, and delivers a dime to bowling. A beautiful throw right there. Big catch. And they're across the 50. I believe this is the fourth time Kansas has been across the 50, and they only have three points. Hand it off. Up the middle, there is a little bit of room. Not much, though. Gets four. Oh, absolutely. There's plenty of time to throw more picks. Just ask Baylor against Clemson. He had, like, five turnovers in the final two minutes. God, week one Baylor is worse than an FCS team. Oh, and that's a dangerous one. The mid-screen did not work there. You need the conversion here. They got split back sets going. Both are going out. And oh my god. They almost took his head off right there. The DNs collapsed. And there's the offensive line struggles. As he just got murdered. By number 21. Is Kansas going for it? No. They are going to bring out the punt team. All right. Oh, and he runs over a man. I'm trying to be quiet every time the game's playing Rocky Top for you. I don't need to pump it in here. All right, Cardale. Come on, where's the mistake? All right, he just throws that one away. Surely the fumble in at the five can't be the only mistake he's going to make, right? Please. <laughs> we need more. And it's a quick little bubble screen to Nixon, the tight end. All right, Cardale. He's throwing it deep. Or not really deep. Wide open man, though. And that's a first down. What a pretty pass right there, Cardale. That was a good throw. Wide open man on the sideline. Beautiful throw. Probably the first time you'll ever see me. Uh... Oh, man. Wide open. Now the looks like the pass defense is deciding to uh, start sucking now. Come on, Kansas, put up a fight. Oh, yeah, he throws big ducks. Come on, Cardale. I need, I need a JJ Justice pick six. Come on. We need a prayer circle for a JJ Justice pick six. It's the only way to get him back in. Cardale, he's running. There's McCormick. He stops him now. I think they got McCormick on the QB spy. All right, at the 40. 
Cardale, third and six. On the run, he delivers a dime, and it's dropped by Caden Marley. What a huge drop that was. Wow. Cardale delivers it on a rope, and he drops it. You hate to see it. Caden Marley, right? I believe I said the name right. Okay. You got a little over 11 minutes left, Kansas. You got to put something together. Kyle White, he dumps it off. All right, there you go. We know this team can just dump it off for like 20 yards. That's fine. I need... They haven't tried to stretch the field since the first play of the game. I need you guys to start trying to stretch the field here. Hand it off. And no first down. Third and in, third in inches. Kyle White, he's scrambling. He's trying to get the first, and he does. They give it to him. Willis delivered the hit stick, but Kyle White is actually showing commitment to a team for once, and he lowers his head for the first down. That is a big play. Kyle White over the middle. There's J.J. Justice on the catch for six. He's had a decent game today, except they've only really been throwing dump offs to him. He hasn't really been uh, thrown to down the field. dual tight ends now it's a counter run and he has the outside he shot kansas is moving the ball baby no one gets beat down like henny got against aho that was brutal like dog water uh aho just Taking Henny God's head off every other play is worse than Glenn in The Walking Dead. <laughs> like, sheesh. And a little fake jet sweep. Oh, they were running a little, uh, a little wildcat there. It didn't really work. He shot just couldn't find the outside. All right, Kyle White, he keeps it. He has room to the outside. This is like watching Peyton Manning scramble. Kyle White for a 15-yard run. Let's go. That is the slowest developing run you'll ever see. You have to hold those blocks for an eternity as the safety trips on the blocker. Kyle White, baby. The anticipation of watching that five-second run. <laughs> All right, can they score? White over the middle. He finds the receiver. Then he gets a crisp six as we're going to come to the end of the third quarter here. A low-scoring game today. As we enter the fourth quarter, no scores since the second quarter here, but Kansas is driving down 11. Can Kansas shock the world? They're inside the red zone. This is do or die pretty much for Kansas. You got to come through on this drive. Second and four. Man in motion. They fake the handoff. He dumps it off. And that is just a throwaway. I guess he did not like that. So a third and four for Kyle White. Watch JJ Justice in the slot. He's lined up on Willis, the best defender of the day. Over the middle, they find Justice, and he doesn't get it. Fourth down. And they're going for it. They are keeping the kicker off the field, which would make this a one-possession game. And they are going for it. A huge call here from Fink. Man in motion. And the running speed option. White keeps it, and he gets it. What a call. Think with the call of the lifetime. 
No one, no one was expecting speed option and it works. They hand it off. He shot up the middle. Everybody else is playing ch uh, checkers. Fink is playing chess out here with the speed option. Holy smokes, what a call. And now they're empty. Second and five. He can still get a first without a tutty. And it's a QB draw. Kyle White. No, he gets inside the five, but he can't. I love the QB draw right there. And they come out goal line set third and three. The big nasty's on the field. He shot. He gets stood up. Oh, man. Fourth down again. And they're still going for it. And they come out. Oh, boy. Fourth and two. He's throwing a screen and he doesn't get it. Turnover on downs inside the five. Think making it look so difficult to score a touchdown. Looking like the Denver Broncos out here. Turnover on downs and Tennessee takes over here. That was a tough possession to watch. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, I'm not going to say if you don't want people to know. And Jalen, four yards. So you need the ball back immediately at this point. Honestly, I would take in the field goal on that second fourth down. Cardale, he's going to throw it all the time in the fucking world. And he yams it deep. Our first yam of the game. And that is a poorly thrown ball. Luckily, there is no pass interference this time on a non-catchable. And he dumps it off. And the defense comes through again. So, Fink, your defense is playing well, keeping you in this game. Holding Tennessee to 14 is actually like a huge, a, like, you know, they're playing great. It's just your offense is shitty. <laughs> and they get across the 50, so immediately already in scoring position once again. Can Kansas finally cash through? I, I believe this is their sixth time in opposing territory, and they only have three points. And a little fullback run here. He breaks a tackle, and he gets eight. You love the fullback. Yeah, he's using the Iowa State playbook. Kyle White, they hand it off. A little draw play here. He stiffies a man. Oh, boy, they're inside the 35. <laughs> oh, they hand it off again, and nothing doing there. This counter was snuffed out by the linebacker. Can Kansas finally break through? Yeah, you'd think he, I accidentally put on the Iowa playbook. Oh, he fakes it over the middle, and that's caught. Nice little eight-yard catch for bowling. Yeah, they are moving the ball. They just get stifled in the red zone. Third and three. And it's a Kyle White keeper again. And he breaks through first down. Say what you want about his speed, but Kyle White is a gamer. He is just a slower Max Duggan. Hands it off. He shot four yards. And we got a defensive battle here in week one game day. Right, 
JJ Justice in the slot. He's going deep to the end zone, and it's oh! The pick is dropped. Kansas lives to fight another day. How did he drop that? They come out empty again, third and six. Dumps it off, wide open man, that's Arnold, and he breaks the tackles inside the five. He just went through four men to get to the five-yard line. Can Kansas finally break through? Come on. They're blue-balling us to smithereens here. Kyle White. He's open. Touchdown, Kansas. Will Huggins for seven. The first touchdown of Kyle White career in Fink. Pulls within four. Will Huggins, the senior tight end, gets him on the board. And we have a ball game, folks, and they're going for two. They hand it off to his shot, and he does not get it. So it's going to take a touchdown. I love these helmets for Kansas. They're like they're the reason why I um on revamped I like always pick Kansas if I'm doing my own little thing. I love those helmets. So something needs to be said about this Tennessee offense now. You're running all over the Jayhawks. You have Cardale just destroying them in every way, but you have seven points on offense today. Without the pick six, Kansas is winning this game. So, yeah, you guys are saying that, you know, Kansas offense sucks, blah, 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 but Kansas offense is outscoring Tennessee's offense. Cardale Jones mustering seven points of offense against a Big 12 Kansas is a bit of a yikes. In three minutes remaining, they better start doing something here. Cardale has the yips. Put in Louis Shire. And they're running clock now. Pansies. They don't want to give Kyle White the ball back. You know what? I'm just going to say it. Kyle White is a better running quarterback than Cardale. Oh, what a fucking play. Brown attacks Jalen White right, or Jalen uh, Wright right there. Like, a 99 overall running back, and he just went full throttle right at him. That was beautiful. Third and ten. No face mask. Get out of here. Third and ten. Is Cardale going to chond again? You know Cardale just wants to set it up for another hail Cardale. That's his whole thing. Can, more, can, can McCormack make the play? He does! Oh my god, he killed a man! You gotta remember. You gotta remember that targeting does not exist in the SFA world. <laughs> that was a bounty, dude. He just took that man's head off. Uh, yes, Arkansas was... Um, Played in a Bear Cave, which was streamed before this. So, um, if you want to watch the VOD, you can. Otherwise, I will be posting those results um, after. But two minutes left. Two-minute drill here for Kansas. One possession game. Five points. Is Kyle White him? Dumps it off over the middle. A beautiful catch by JJ Justice for three yards. And they're starting to hurry it up, baby. Somehow it's a good game here at the end. And he's going deep. He has a man. He's open. And oh, he's tripped up right at the end. He just didn't have the speed. Kyle White deep. He's connected on both deep balls on the day. He got just past the safety and he barely trips him up. And Kansas is on the offensive. Kansas has all the momentum. They're inside the 20. Kyle White. He hands it off and nothing up the middle here. 
just take your time, just get into the end zone. And how big was that missed uh, field goal earlier in the game when he decided to go for it instead of kicking? Kyle White, Huggins in motion. They fake the handoff. He keeps it and nothing doing it. Oh, boy, here we go. They're calling timeouts now. Kyle White, third and nine. Game on the line. Who makes the play? Oh, and Kyle White throws his third pick of the game. Tennessee's defense comes up clutch. He tried to find J.J. Justice in the corner, but he was just double covered. What a mistake right there. Nick takes over. And that might just be the game. And you have victory formation here for, for Nick as they're singing Rocky Top. <laughs> Three picks in his debut, Kyle White. Now we know why he's transferred so much. Jesus. And they hand it off, Jalen right up the middle. One more play here. And they're going to run a play. So unless this is a pick six or something, it's uh, Tennessee wins. And it's a first down, Tennessee. There you go. And that will do it. Week one goes to Tennessee. They survive. Kansas proves the preseason hype was uh, warranted, but Tennessee outlasts them in Neyland. A great performance by both teams, but three turnovers by Kyle White was the difference. Nick gets on the board. You'd like a better offensive showing, but you know what? A win is a win. And the final is 14-9. to nine, One of our lowest scoring game days in history. Thanks for watching. Alright, so you guys who wanted to see a Nick Gritty... Here we go. Hey, this is Nick in the locker room after only putting up seven points. And this is uh, Pinhead in the locker room after oh, after losing by three. <laughs> if you want to put a gritty, uh, if you want to film yourself grittying, I will put you on the on the uh, on my OBS, and I'll use you during Bear Cave streams. Yeah, that was a pretty entertaining game. Normally, low-scoring game days are kind of L's, but uh, let's take a look at the stats. Because um, we didn't really get to see the stats update during the game. Kyle White, despite having uh, three picks, has a 132 rating. His first career game, he gets the TD. 79% completion is pretty good, but yeah, the three interceptions were major L's. He had 13 rushes for 15 yards, a, a nice little 1.1 per yard uh, average. And then um, J.J. Justice in his first game, 6 for 36. You can't hate that. Um, McBride had a few deep bombs, and Huggins obviously made the catch there. As far as the defense is concerned, two sacks for McCormick. Um, nothing else crazy. J.J. Justice, he had two tackles. And then let's take a look at Tennessee here. Sam Powell, the SFA player, his first career game. Uh, Slaughter had the game ceiling interception. Who had the other two? Moen had one. And who had the other one? Alton Wise had one. Um, as far as receiving goes, uh, nothing too special, honestly. Your receiving was pretty bad. Um... And then rushing-wise, Cardale, 76 yards. Jalen Wright only had 69. And then throwing the ball 86 yards through the air. I mean, let's be honest. Tennessee, yeah, you got the win, but you need to kind of be upset with your, with your offensive showing. I think Kansas, that was a really positive performance. And I think Tennessee is kind of disappointed with their game.
Yeah, only a hundred, not even a hundred yards passing against Kansas, a one-win team from last year. Kind of an L. Um, David McCormick, player of the game. And let me just. Alrighty, so I'm going to post all the game results, and then I am going to. Uh, Post recruit decisions for week one. So watch out for that the rest of the night. Uh, the coaching. Um, let me just go there here before I hang it up. Uh, the coaches poll is open. So officially you guys can all submit um, your top 25 and it will be averaged and counted for week two. So uh, your polls are due tomorrow night at midnight. Um, thank you guys all for watching week two, or sorry, week one. Uh, SFA is back, baby.